So there I was roaming through the Goody Wheel looking for vintage toys. And as I rounded the corner, lo and behold, I found something truly epic. And I got them both for $3. $3 for both of them. Not $3 each, but $3 for both of them. And you're not gonna believe how much they're worth. My name is Burke and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf, and it's Five Thrift Store Friday. Yes, it's Five Thrift Store Friday, the happiest day of the week. And we're starting off today's thrift store vintage toy hunt adventure at Old Thrifty Pants Thrift Giant. We're gonna be hitting up five thrift stores today. If you're new to the channel, my name is Chris Burfield. All my friends call me Burf, you can call me Burf too. And I hunt for vintage toys in thrift stores. So if you like thrift stores and you like vintage toys, you'll probably like my channel. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed and we're gonna pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. That the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. All right, let's see what's on the shelves today. That stumpy Iron Man, this mudslinger. How about anything over here? What's this? Some sort of Power Ranger Zord, maybe? Oh, it's kind of a neat looking one. Oh, what do we got over here? Look at this guy. I haven't seen one like him before. That's pretty cool. Oh, looks like we got a Doc Ock buried in here. He doesn't have his tentacles, though. Well, apparently this little guy in this condition is selling for about 10 bucks if he were complete, which there's like, I think this, I saw in some photos, there's like a little red thing that goes in his mouth and I think it like causes his eyes to light up red. But if he had that, he's selling for almost 20 bucks. It's pretty neat looking. What do we got here? Some dinosaurs, safari animals, marine life. Oh, we got a big old turtle in there. And a big old kitty cat. There's a lion and a tiger. There's a few tigers in there, actually. Oh, check him out. Oh, nice. I don't see the green ones too often. Oh, dang, they want $10 for him? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, here's another one down here. And he's only $6.99. And this one belonged to Harvey Ovens. Big shout out to Harvey Ovens. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy. He's selling for between $25 and $35 on eBay. $9.99 is so overpriced it's like ridiculous for a thrift store to be charging that but i think he's worth it so let's go ahead and get him oh my god look at this colorful dude what's he from looks like he'd like be from the movie monsters inc or something oh that's interesting that's a baby doll with a batgirl outfit on she even has her little boots wow look at this bright colorful van I'll check that out. Uh, I, don't know how, I don't know how to get it open. I was gonna try and open it, but that's pretty cool. I like, I like the pink and the blue. All right, we got him. We got the big guy. So I'm probably gonna include this in the box that I'm sending to Nash. And uh, I need to get that off to him here pretty soon. It's gotten pretty full with dinos. So I think he said he was send, sending something off to me too. Me too. He said something me too. He's sending something to me soon <laughs> as well. <laughs> He's sending something to me too. <laughs> All right. Up next, the goodie wheel. Let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends. We are here. We're at the Goody Wheel, baby. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Yeah, you better have something. Hey, you guys know Jose? My friend Jose? 
the uh, thrifter Jose, um, he found uh, at this Goodwill on Wednesday, he just sent me a picture this morning when I was on my way over here, he found a baby Sinclair plushie from the 1980s, 1980s, maybe 1990, uh, from the TV show Dinosaurs. So I thought that was awesome, man. They sell for like anywhere from 70 to 100 bucks or something like that. I don't know what he picked it up for. Probably fairly cheap, I would imagine. Probably got it in the plushie section, got it for like $1.61 or something like that. But anyway, yeah, he found a baby Sinclair plush. So congratulations, Jose. That is an epic score. All right, let's see. What do we got on the shelves today? Any goodies, any goodness, any vintage toys, anything worth writing home to mama about. Oh, there's a Power Ranger. Should have got that blue one over there at Thrift Giant. Oh, he's missing a hand. Never mind. <laughs> and we got, oh, look at these dinos. These look old. Hmm. There's a whole bunch of them here, actually. Hmm, those are pretty awesome looking. And then maybe some sort of velociraptor, yeah. What is this? Oh my God, it's our boy Buzz. And he's like in a green outfit, but he's missing his hand. He's missing some buttons over here, that sucks. That's a really unique looking one. I wonder if that one's actually worth some money. I'm gonna try looking it up. Well, he's labeled as a interstellar crystallic fusion green Buzz Lightyear. And this dude, like, if he had had his button in his hand, guy's selling for like 50 bucks all day long. So, um, we're not gonna get him unless I can find the missing pieces around here somewhere, but I doubt that's gonna happen. What's this? Rocket Twist Game Pack Cookie Sweet Treats. And what's this? Is this a hockey puck? No, it's not a hockey puck. I don't know what that is. Some sort of remote control or game, maybe? Oh, look. It's a castle guard tower that you can, like, paint yourself if you want, and, uh, create a little diorama. I'm trying to think what I might have that could go with that. Hmm. I don't want two bucks for it. I could always get Nicole to paint something cool with it, but I don't know. I'll think about it. We got a Cubs nightlight and a whole bunch of these. It's called Build Realm. I guess they're like paper dinosaurs. Looks like it's the same one though. Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'm gonna check out this old gun rack. Man, that thing is heavy. It's made out of some good wood. Seven dollars. That's like a deer antler cut or something, or maybe an elk. Yeah, it's not a deer. It's too big to be a deer, so it might be like an elk. Hmm. I'm just looking at it like I got that Red Rider BB gun you know I could lay that across and then I could put like my old Cowboys and Indians plastic figures on here as well hmm I don't know I mean it's nice it's heavy the question is do I even have room for it <laughs> you know I'm even running out of room in the bunker to have shelving I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to think about it. I didn't get it, <laughs> obviously. I'd be like carrying it like this, pretty heavy. Um, yeah, man, if I had a little more room, I, I would have grabbed it. I just don't know where I put it. I have to really kind of like reorganize everything. Anyway, uh, that's for me to think about. <laughs> But uh, in the meantime, off to Thrift City, baby. Well, here we are. The infamous Thrift City, home of the inglorious glass case. Yes, my friends, it is inglorious. We have not found anything in the 
glass case for, I don't know, a year? <laughs> Seems like it. But let's head in here and see if our luck will change today. All right, first up, Plushville. Is that a Curious George? Yeah, I think so. All right, how about these shelves? Any goodies on the shelves? They look pretty bare. And this game here looks old. Oh yeah, that's definitely old. Word power. Copyright 1967. It's a heavy game. It feels like it's got a lot of stuff in it. Uh, I took this nasty tape off it. You can see some of it peeled, but it didn't peel too bad. All right, let's take a look in here. I don't see how it opens. This side here. This is ripped. Hmm. Oh, the whole thing just slides out. Okay. <laughs> I'm such a dummy. All right, what do we got in here? We got some sort of book. I guess maybe this is the instructions. And then we've got what appears to be the board game. Let's take a look at that. Oh, wow. Collect royalties, place synonyms, copyright infringement. <laughs> what? It's kind of an odd game. What do we got in here? Kinds of cards. We got pieces. Dice. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave this here. All right. Anything else? That's kind of a neat playset. All right, kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. Anything in the glass case for us today? I don't think so. What's this thing? PlayStation 3. I don't know what that's for. Oh, it's a PlayStation Network. I guess maybe that gives you internet access? Yeah, nothing here. Five inch color TV monitor. Oh, that's cool. Man, they want 50 bucks for this thing though. I was just checking to see if you could potentially play video games on it, but I don't think you can. I don't know, maybe. It's this right here. Does this have any oh, there's little is that audio and video out over there? Oh, so you can connect video games to it. Hmm. Man, I would love to get this thing, but it's it's overpriced. I mean, right now I can go on eBay and buy this for 20 bucks. Shipping is like $13, so for $33 and they want $49.99. As cool as that is and as much as I'd like to take this home today and set up my gaming systems on it, I'm just gonna have to pass. All right, gang, busted. Man, that's kind of disappointing for me. Like, I, I really wanted to get that, but I can't make an emotional buy, you know? Not at that price. It's just, uh, it's not worth it. Especially knowing I can get it for $32, $33, and have it delivered next week. <sighs> Come on, thrift store. Man, uh, thrift city, you're supposed to be like good prices, you know? You've always, uh, that, that is one thrift store. That thrift store and St. Vinnie de Paul, for the most part, have decent prices on their stuff. They're like actually true thrift stores, but unfortunately, Thrift City, 
which we so belovingly call Thrift Shitty, is called Thrift Shitty for a reason. So the stuff they have isn't really all that great, but sometimes they do have cool stuff that we can get a little jazz, jazzed up over. So, all right, uh, let's head off to Old Thrifty Pants over off of Mill Street and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, Lunger, let's do it. We are at Thrift Giant off of Mill Street and I have a feeling we're gonna score something out of here today. I can just feel it in my bones. So we'll get in here and we'll at least take a look around. I don't normally score a whole lot out of here, but it'd be nice if we did today. Well, I can see there's a big old bat bot there off in the distance, but the rest of the shell looks pretty weak and we're not getting the bat bot. I've actually, I had this before. It's kind of a cool piece, but it just takes up a lot of space. Yeah, there's like nothing on these shelves. Oh, look at this. A little Tahoe. Hmm. Oh, look at this Miller Lite cooler. Oh, it's got some cars in it. Well, this is a quick trip. Off to the Goody Wheel. Well, hold up, wait a second. We got ourselves a Sony DVD and VHS player. I've got two. I have a VHS and a DVD player, and I got to switch back and forth with them, so it might be worth getting this for $13, so I don't have to switch wires constantly when I want to go back and forth. I think I'm going to get that. I just hope it works. All right, let's at least test it. I got it plugged in back here. Okay. Let's see if that opens. Says open, but it's not opening. Oh, there it goes. Does it just take a, mi a minute? Is that? Let's try that again. I'm doing something wrong. Let me turn this off, turn it back on. Okay. Open. All right, now let's see what happens. Okay, it just takes a minute. Now the question is gonna be, man, is that dusty? Holy cow. I don't know what the inside of it's like. Um, now it's just gonna be whether or not the VHS actually works. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna take a risk on it for 13 bucks. All right, I got it. We got ourselves a Sony VHS DVD player. Have to get it home and try it and see if it works. But up next, the Goody Wheel. All right, gang, we are at the Goody Wheel. Speaking of gangs, are you in my Goody Wheel gang? Hashtag Goody Wheel gang. If you're in the Goody Wheel gang, what you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? That's our Goody Will Gang anthem. Say it with me. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Hey, remember, uh, I said at the last store, I uh, said at Thrift Giant, I said, I have a feeling we're gonna score something out of here today. And we did. How about that? See, sometimes you just feel it in your bones. Let's see if we can score something out of here. There's a bunch of video games. A lot of them look like well, not all of them. Most of them are sports related games, but we've got like Connect Adventure. There's a couple of those in there. Disneyland Adventures, Connect, Connect Sports. Yeah, all right, let's go see what's on the shelves. Oh, look at all these. Somebody dumped their whole Tweety Bird collection. Look at all these Tweety Birds. That is a big one. And then we got these little ones, and then what's this thing? Oh, it's like a Tweety Bird, like maybe one on top of a, like a shampoo bottle or something. It's kind of cool. Oh yeah, someone just said, F Tweety, I don't want Tweety Birds anymore. <laughs> and they came here and dumped the whole collection. Wow. What is that supposed to be? Is this a Tweety Bird too? 
Oh no, it's a shark. <laughs> but that's a Tweety Bird down there on the floor. And looks like there might be one right here. Well, he's kind of like a little beanie baby. All right, let's see what's over here in the toy section now. Rattlesnake Jake. The only, only snake I know is Jake the Snake. What are these down here? Looks like we got some dinos, maybe. Oh yeah, look at that. That's vintage for sure. I actually have this. I might pick him up again. It's like, it's a T-Rex, but could pose as a Godzilla. What's this one? And then we've got like a shrunken head. <laughs> Shrunken head, voodoo shrunken head. Let's see. That's a nice canteen. It's a Coleman. I don't know, I want a buck for this guy. Yeah, I'll snag him for a dollar for sure. And we got a Captain America with his trademarked paint wear on his nose. Every Captain America I ever find, doesn't matter what line it's from has paint wear on his nose very rarely does he uh not have that that's a neat looking guy what's this z cars rc muscle machines oh that's cool It's never been out of the box. I've got muscle machines. They're the bigger versions of it. I think I'm going to get that. What do I want for that? There's no price on it, so maybe they'll give me a good deal on it. Oh, let's see. $1.91? Oh, yeah, for sure. And is this like another RC? It's like a model kit, maybe. Should I get this one too? Well, I'm looking for a year. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna get this muscle machine. Oh my God, look at this ugly doll. Oh, that's like someone tried to do their own Cabbage Patch Kid. My mom, when I was a kid, she used to make knock off cabbage patch kids she didn't sell them or anything she just made them for herself i think she had like two or three of them but uh i think that's what that is i think it's a knock off cabbage patch kit that somebody made themselves i got a frogger video game i actually have this game for atari and i have well actually no i did i had a game that was just like this one but i sold it at my yard sale to a guy that bought all my gaming stuff so they want five bucks for that. I'll leave that behind. Dang, look at these big old like race, racetrack sets. Oh, check it out, it's calm. It's probably got the whole set here. Yeah, that is neat. All right, well, we got a couple of small scores, so let's jump in the car and do a little show and tell. Well, first up, we got this vintage 1980s Imperial T-Rex. How cool is he? I love the, the red mouth with his white teeth. He's got these flaming red nostrils, yellow eyes. He looks menacing. He is really cool. Like I said, I already have one of these guys, but... For a dollar, I couldn't pass him up. Then we got this 2003 RC Muscle Machines radio control car. This thing is really cool. It's a 69, dude, charger. And uh, since it charges in just 45 seconds, requires two AA batteries. Batteries not included. Um, yeah, it was originally 19.99 at Hobby Lobby. And I got it for $1.91. That is epic. Well, guys, that is our fifth thrift store of the day. It is five thrift store Friday, but I'm in the mood for a couple of more. So let's head on over to another thrift giant. I'm going to head home. There's a thrift giant on the way home. 
and then we will wrap things up today at the Goody Wheel. I'll see you over there. Ooh, here we are, Thrift Giant, one of my favorite places. Let's see if we can get some jazz worthy scores in here. Okay, let's see. What do I, I'll check it out. It's our boy Buzz. We saw your brother earlier today. He was worth a lot of money, but he was all busted up. Busted up Buzz. Oh, yeah, this guy was here the other day when I was here. Yeah, looks like the shelves are wiped pretty clean today. These are uh, camo drawers. That looks like somebody painted that themselves. Look at all these tuxedoed koalas. Hmm. Well, that was a big fat bust. So we got one more store to hit up. We're gonna go hit up the Goody Will, see what kind of goodies they got. Hopefully we can finish strong over there today. That would be awesome. Regardless, I did have fun today. I got a new VCR with a DVD. That's good enough for me. I'm very happy with today's finds, but uh, I would like to find a little, little vintage, some vintage toys. So let's go see what we can do. Oh yeah, Goody Will gang gang. Yeah baby, we at the Goody Will one more time today. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? I'm about to roll up on this biatch and score some vintage toys. That's the name of the game, folks. Walk out with a big win today. How's that sound? I think that sounds pretty good. Let's uh. Let's see what we can do. Right, what do we got? Oh, look. We got another Buzz Lightyear. This one actually has his wings. That's cool. It's our boy Buzz. And then we've got uh, Ursula, I think her name is, right? I'll try. <laughs> Just hit my head on this thing. Great white shirt. And that is a cheapy Iron Man. Oh, he talks so. But he's made out of really cheap plastic. We got some football shoulder pads here. an old Fisher Price clock. This might be a new one though. Yeah, 2009. Oh, we got the Wrecking Slam Ambulance. Man, that thing is missing some pieces though. Well, check these things out. These are actually vintage. Just looked them up. They're from uh, 1979. Got Cookie Monster and we got Big Bird. Cookie Monster selling for about 40 bucks on eBay. I don't know about the Big Bird. I'm going to have to look him up. Okay, so Big Bird is selling for about 80. Cookie Monster selling for like 50, 40, 50. If it had the table that comes with it, I saw somebody sold the two chairs and the table for $200. Now we just got to figure out what they're asking for. $2.02 .02 each. Nicole's gonna kill me, but I can't pass that up. Yeah, 1979. I might be able to list these on the marketplace and get a decent penny for them. All right, I'm totally getting this. <laughs> Nicole's gonna hate me. I don't even really like Sesame Street, but these would make really good flips at four bucks. Have the potential to maybe turn that into, you know, $120. Yeah, I'm getting it. This is what you call a big money score. And big money scores get me on that jazz. He's on that jazz, man. He's on that jazz. He's on that jazz, man. He's on that jazz. Oh yeah, we can easily flip these for at least 125 bones. So, all right, for four bucks, man, I'm super stoked about it. <laughs>
I'm all jazzed up. All right, I'll see you out the car. We'll do a little show and tell. Holy cow, guys. This is epic. Man, we finished strong today. So, got a four, well, actually, it wasn't even $4. It was came to $2.19. They were half off. So, they were like $2.02. And then they were half off and then it was like 219 and I he said do you want to round up to three and I was like yeah yeah I'll round up to three so I rounded up to three dollars let's check these things out Man, what a super score holy cow I was not expecting that and when I saw them I was like they look kind of old but I didn't realize they were from 1979 they're actually in really good condition for 1979 i mean cookie mon cookie monsters cookie monsters eyes are a little worn out but you know what that's okay overall it's in really good shape so i'm gonna probably list these up on facebook marketplace for i don't know i don't know i say a hundred dollars you know what i mean i think maybe i can get you know 50 bucks each i think i might be able to get a taker on those nice nice score coming out on top at the very end of the adventure man just like indiana jones right coming out on top at the end so but hey if you enjoyed watching this content as much as i enjoyed making it for you do me a favor smash the like button that helps me out it does help my channel grow also if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button i got a lot more great content coming your way and tons of videos you can start binge watching right now starting with this next video i know you're gonna love it